This is the second video in our four part series on thinking abstractly. In this video, we discuss the need for abstraction. So we often need to remove some details and highlight others to improve the clarity of what we're trying to convey. Take the example of London. Here's a satellite view of part of the city. Now, here's a very different version of the same image. This time, the road layouts are clearly highlighted. This image is highlighting the area's rail network. Whereas this one is focusing on local parks and green spaces. Finally, this image shows locations of interest for tourists, such as hotels and restaurants. All these maps are accurate representations of London in one way or another. However, it's only the original satellite view photo, which is a true representation, although arguably the least useful. All the other images are abstractions certain details have been removed and others highlighted. Without abstraction, it would be difficult and confusing to model and display certain features. Now in computer science, abstraction is a method of computational thinking and problem solving that focuses on what's important. For example, when you save a file, where is that file actually being stored? How is the data that makes up that file being represented? Well, this level of detail is abstracted from you. Users only really need to be able to create, open, move, save and delete files. They don't need to be concerned with how it all happens, how it looks and how it's stored behind the scenes. So what's important in the user interface of, say, a sat-nav device? Well, the image shown here would be pointless. It's realistic, but the driver might as well look at the windscreen. So what should be included on the display? What's less important? What should be added? Well, here's an example. Uh, you can see we've chosen to highlight or accentuate the car's location, the road layout, and we've added additional icons for like the volume, the time. We've removed unnecessary distracting detail like additional buildings, trees, and the countryside. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. Why do we need to use abstraction in computer science. To help get your head around everything to do with computational thinking, we have a freely available downloadable cheat sheet. It's got two sides to it. There's a basic poster that reminds you at a top level what the five different strands are. And on the back, there's a much more detailed explanation. This resource is completely free from student.craigandave.org. Just scroll down and select the section that says A-Level Revision. You'll then see a section called OCR, AS and A-Level, and there's a number of cheat sheets in there, including two versions of the computational one. Just click download to get the zip file.